to the Frost family. I'm Bill Coster. And I'm Robin Coster. In 1926, my father, Fred Henderson, launched his new motor yacht and gave her my name, Robin. I was two and a half years old at that time. Uh, what follows now is uh, approximately 15 minutes of tape made from the original 16 millimeter film shot by Fred Henderson of the launching of the Robin II and her three sister ships. Uh, the boats were built away from the harbor and uh, trucked, as you saw in the first frames, uh, to, I believe, uh, Wilmington, where they were put in the water. Uh, all four vessels were launched on the same day, and so you're going to see uh, quite a bit of launching. Uh, the last boat to go in the water, uh, you can see the name on the transom, and although the pictures are not that clear, you can just make out that that particular boat is the Robin Second. My mother, Marjorie Henderson, once told me that the original cost of the Robin II was 25000 The first Robin was a Fellows and Stewart. Considering that uh, the original film was exposed in 1926 and that this is a uh, videotape copy made from that film, it really is amazing how good the pictures are. Uh, the slight flutter that you notice uh, develops in the transition from the uh, movie film to the videotape. The boats were certainly sister ships, uh, all exactly the same. It's kind of interesting all through the film to notice the, the costume or the dress at the time. Now this is the Robin and the young boy on the bow is uh, Robin's older brother, Lyndon. Apparently the boats were launched, uh, put into the water in one place and then towed, I don't know why not under their own power, but apparently towed uh, to some other place. <coughs> now there's the Robin second. And now we're at uh, Catalina. Uh, I assume that uh, you folks might find it interesting to try and decide exactly where most of this film was shot at the island. Uh, as near as I can tell, most of it was at the Isthmus. And I know that the Helen spends the summer each year at the Isthmus, so I'm sure you'll recognize the, uh, the surrounding areas. Now this is the Robin, and the gentleman in white on the bow is Fred Abbott Henderson, owner and skipper.
for some reason this particular segment of the film is not as good as the rest of it will be so uh, bear with us and the pictures will get better These were, of course, originally made as family films, so uh, there are going to be some parts of the film that, uh, although interesting as a record of yachting life in and around Catalina in, the, in 1926 and 27, uh, uh, we won't bother to try and make you aware of who the people were. Obviously, the sign language of yachting is still the same as you notice the gentleman at the uh, outboard. Looks like yellowtail fishing was good that year. Uh, the gentleman in white holding the fish is, is Fred Henderson, the Robin's owner. Uh, we understand that what you're seeing here is a swimmer uh, who was taking off from the island to swim the channel to the mainland and uh, accompanied by several rowing boats. We don't know that he or she did or didn't make it, but that was the departure. Some family film. Looks like a senator, doesn't he? And again, the gentleman on the left is Fred Henderson. I think this was a hunting trip. The house on that car is just about as square as uh, and upright as the house on the Robin was. Looks like duck hunting was good that day. And even in 1926, you could fly to Catalina. Uh, I don't know that I would want to have flown in that. And this, of course, is Avalon in the central dock, as it was at, at that time. Some earlier film uh, indicates that at that time the uh, casino was just being built. And here comes the airplane. And the Catalina. <coughs> she looks very proud there, but... Uh, this year, uh, as we sailed across Toto Sanos Bay down to Ensenada for the Ensenada race, uh, she certainly looked very forlorn sitting way out at the edge of the bay. <laughs> 